So how are you finding balance in 2022? I'm going to tell you how I'm finding balance. This is Grace Points. So I'm a gadget junkie. Don't judge me. I don't need your judgment. We're not starting off 2022 with judgment, uh, but I am. I'm a gadget junkie. Whether you are or not, this is my thing, not yours. Why am I telling you all this? I don't know. You're cheaper than therapy. Anyway, um, I am self-proclaimed gadget junkie. I succumb to the, the pressure of buying a VR headset over the Christmas break. Yep, I did it. I mean, that thing is super cool. If you were a kid growing up in the 80s and, and, and you thought about like virtual reality, goodness gracious, I mean, this thing is amazing. I put it on my head, right? It's got two controllers. It's got this incredible screen inside and these speakers that like pump sound directly into your ears. And I'm playing this thing. By the way, I only got it because my youngest son said he wanted one. It, was, it wasn't because I wanted one. Had, no, had nothing to do with me. It was because my youngest son wanted one. That's a story that I'm sticking with. Um, anyway, I put this thing on my head. It's got incredible games and I'm standing up. You, you're standing up in the middle of this open space and I put it on my head. I've got the controllers and I'm playing this game. I'm not moving and I'm playing this game, but because of what I see and because of what I hear, I lost my balance. I mean, this thing is immersive and every game comes with a warning. If you have motion sickness or if you, if you deal with height issues or whatever, you might want to reconsider playing what you're about to play. And I put it on my head. I'm playing the Star Wars game, I think. And, and I'm standing in one spot. Nothing touched me. Nothing attacked me. Nothing happened. But because of what I was seeing, it was so immersive that I lost my balance. And honestly, I think all of us are doing that. I think because of what we perceive, what we put into our minds, what we watch, what we hear, we are daily losing our balance. And I want to maintain my balance in 2022. And it doesn't even mean that you're under some kind of crazy attack. It could just mean that you're putting the wrong thing in and you're losing your balance. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18 says this in the words of Paul, and we who with unveiled faiths faces all reflect the Lord's glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory, which comes from the Lord who is the spirit. I mean, I love what Paul says here. He says, and we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness. When you with an unveiled mind spend time looking at the life of Christ, you can't help but be changed. When you look at the reflection of God in the life of Christ, there's no clearer picture of God than in the life of Christ. More glory is revealed in the life of Christ than Moses ever experienced on the mountain. And we see in the life of Christ who God is. And being more and more like Jesus is a progressive, it's a progressive experience. It's a long-term growth experience. And you spend time seeing him, watching how he dealt with people, watching how he grew, watching how he dealt with his disciples or the miracles he performed or the sacrifice that he made. When you spend time looking and listening to the life of Christ, you can't help but find balance. You can't help but be changed. So this is what I want you to do for the beginning of 2022. I want you to see Jesus in the Gospels. I want you to follow his life. I want you to see what he said. I want you to experience how he dealt with people and see if that doesn't increase your balance. See if that doesn't give you stronger footing. See if that doesn't shift your equilibrium so that you can find focus and balance to be the person, the man, the woman that God has called and ordained you to be in 2022. It's easy to be off balance when all we see is the negative or we see a bunch of media or we see a bunch of social media or we're watching too much TV or we're listening to the wrong thing. I want you to cut those things out. And I want you for the next couple of weeks just to focus daily in the Gospels on the life of Christ and see if that doesn't give you balance. Anyway, I'm glad that I'm seeing you this year. I haven't seen you since last year. This is good. Looking forward to seeing you next week. This is Grace Points. God bless you.